10 Things You Didn't Know About the Snorky Also known as the Schnerrier, Schnorky, and Schnorky, this dog has only been around for about 10 years. Their exact origins are unknown, but are generally considered to be a designer dog created in the United States. There are a number of things you need to know before deciding on a Snorky for your home, but for the most part they are a safe choice for most families. Some minor health problems are possible but in general they can be considered to be bred specifically for being a domesticated house pet with almost none of the common problems that are present in other dogs. The more you know about the Snorky, the better, so browse through this list to find out more. 1. Snorkies have a European background of two very well-known breeds. The Yorkie and the Miniature Schnauzer are the two breeds that were matched to create the first Snorky. Because both these breeds were used to hunt rodents, either in English clothing mills, Yorkie, or on farms, Schnauzer, they will have the same hunting tendencies. You are not likely to find them bringing a rodent to you in the morning, but just be aware that this is their heritage. 2. All Snorkies are not created equal. First-generation Snorkies will be the result of a purebred miniature Schnauzer and a Yorkshire Terrier. Breeding two Snorkies will result in a second-generation Snorky, which many people then consider to be a mixed-breed dog, a mutt. So depending on your personal preferences you will have to be careful to make sure you are buying a real Snorky. 3. There is at least one problem with second-gen Snorkies. The Snorky breed has only been around about 10 years, but being able to trace their lineage allows for hereditary disease and problems to be tracked. Not so with the Gen 2 Snorkies, which may be a problem when trying to determine any health or genetic trait problems. 4. Purebred Snorkies have a few problems of their own to deal with. Because a Snorky is a mixed breed, they also inherit the problems of both sets of genes. On the Yorkie side, Problems of overcrowded teeth can be the source of jaw problems, while on the schnauzer side there is a history of high fat levels that can potentially lead to pancreatitis. The general rule is to keep a snorky on a low-fat diet and to serve them dry, rather than canned food. These steps should minimize any long-term health issues. 5. Snorkies cannot be AKC registered. Though you may watch different things on other videos about the American Kennel Club, AKC, registration, because the Snorky is a designer dog it cannot have its breed registered with a well-known organization. For potential owners, this means finding a legitimate breeder who will sell you a purebred Snorky can be a challenging search. 6. They require constant companionship. Because they are naturally affectionate, leaving a Snorky at home alone for long periods of time is a situation they don't do well in. Not doing well means that they tend to do destructive behaviors, such as chewing up things around the house. 7. They are high-maintenance pets. On the plus side, they don't shed much and are hypoallergenic, so people who may have health problems around dogs can look into owning a Snorky. But their wiry coat requires regular brushing and if you want to avoid long-term health problems they will require you to keep up with their grooming. 8. They are yappers. On a scale of 1 to 5, a Snorky is probably a 4 or 4.5, with 5 being the high end. They will not just bark when something is wrong. They will do it to get attention or if they hear an unfamiliar sound. In other words, their crossbreeding has them listening for those sounds of mice that you can't hear, and will let you know when they do. 9. They are smart. Snorkies are among the easiest dogs to train as they are able to quickly learn and respond to commands. If you want to teach a dog tricks, this will be a choice high on your list. 10. There is a stuffed version available, just in case. No, we're not talking about stuffing a former pet. But if all this seems not to be what you are looking for but you still like to have one around the house, you can get a genetically free of defect version by going to Amazon. No yapping, no grooming, and at a very low cost when compared to the live version. If you like the video then make sure to hit that like button. Also if you want more dog training, guides, information then make sure to subscribe to our channel. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments and thank you for watching. And please consider subscribing our channel for more about dog training and dog breeds content every day.